Who taught thee how to make me love thee more? The more I hear and see just cause of hate, oh, though I love what others do abhor with others, thou shouldst not abhor my state. If thy unworthiness raise love in me, more worthy I to be beloved of thee. not race a bear and I was totally LOLing and I was like if you say that again I will literally fall off my chair laughing <laughs> and he said it again <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't help but overhear my condolences for your fall like what are you talking about well, you said that you fell when the young man regaled you with the humming Stephanie I gotta go this guy's like a total creeper morning class I have some news for you class after speaking with some students yesterday I've determined that you're not quite ready for lessons in prose so I've decided to take a step back a little and today we're going to have a review on grammar and syntax and that's going to be followed by a 50 question quiz I expect all of you to score a 100% that's like Totally not fair. That's not all. I have some more news that will literally make you want to jump out of your seats. Only you'll be unable to. Because you'll find yourselves literally glued to them. You see, class, I love the spoken word. And it frustrates me immensely to hear it chewed up and regurgitated. This is a cell phone jammer. Today, I want you to pay really close attention and be off of your phones for once. <laughs> Quiet, please. Quiet! Where are the cops at? Oh, James. I'm afraid that today is a really bad day to end your sentences and prepositions. It could prove quite fatal. Now, I expect all of you to score a 100% on this quiz, or you will literally make my head explode. Now, are we ready to begin this review? Good. First thing I'd like to teach you is the meaning of literally. One may only use this word properly when using an expression and conveying its basic meaning rather than the meaning of the expression. For example, like literally being glued to your chairs. You're like insane. Incorrect. I either am insane or I am like an insane person in some fashion. Only use like when constructing a simile. And here's another lesson. James, how would you write that sentence on the board? In which sense? You're insane. Spell it. Y-O-U-R-I-N-S-A-N-E? My insane what? Y-O-U-R is possessive. So unless I have an insane hamster or some other object that you would like to convey the insanity of, you must use the contraction form. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. all passed. I'll get the glue solvent. Mr. Masterson, I think I speak for the whole class when I say that we should 
all learned so much today. You've like literally changed all of our lives.